Crandall Dandel. Okay, anyway, so Relwer going with his, his uh, classic Yoshi and King Isopod, a.k.a. MP, a.k.a. Crandall Cranberry, going Pichu. MP isn't Crandall Cranberry. Oh, that's right. He's a he's, uh, maze brother. He's corn. Oh, that's right. This is the corn versus the cranberry match. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so a little bit of info about these players for those not in the loop. So, Relward is, he's, he's, he's a fantastic defensive player. Um, not to say he doesn't have any other strengths, but that, that to me seems like his premier strength. He's very, very, very conservative player, and it is just, I, I think that's really his... Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think so. I think Relward, I mean, Yoshi, I think, tends itself to a more defensive play style, but just because he's so difficult to hit and has so much maneuverability while also not having, like, the fastest, like, the best approach options. Yeah, and, you know, it, it, it's, uh, Relward, he's very, I, I guess you could say he doesn't, he, he I think it's more, it's, or not more, but it, it's just, I think an identifying feature, he just, he tends to not challenge a lot of things. Um, right, or rightly so, he tends to not challenge things he can't challenge, and that recognition is good. And we see, uh, so King Isopod here with a an ever-growing lead, but that Nair is going to seal it out. Um, and King Isopod, he's he's another, he, he, he's been switching between characters a lot recently. It seems like he's favoring the rats quite a bit, occasionally going Ness. Uh, Ness and Lucas were uh, kind of who I always associated him with, but now he's definitely becoming sort of a... I guess uh, XD RAR character, <laughs> uh, sort of like, like uh, Isabel Pichu Pikachu, sort of thing. Yeah, I'm surprised he picked uh, Pichu for this matchup because I don't—it's not a very good one for Pichu, I think. You think so? Uh, yeah, I say that just because Yoshi is kind of hard to combo. So a lot of your like bread and butter or your more complicated combos or like kill confirms just sometimes don't work. I can see that. Um, it's pretty hard to edge guard, and Pichu really excels at that. Um, <laughs> And his area, you cannot contest him in the air at all. It's impossible. Yeah, I can, I can, I can imagine. So, and, you know, it's actually kind of funny because a lot of people, and Relworth sealing it out, getting the lead at uh, 161. So, But P being Pichu, and see, this is the thing I think really, you know, it, it's hard to call it an outright. Uh, it, it's not so much that Pichu, I th I, honestly, I think they nerfed Pichu in the wrong way. Um, I don't agree with him dealing that much damage to himself. I think that there are certain things about him that should have changed because now it's not that he's still just as annoyingly explosive and polarizing as he ever was, but now it's just he's just now more polarizing and the dynamic has shifted such that people just don't want to play him anymore because if, if you're at a deficit, what do you do? You literally can't play defensively as him. Yeah. It's and that's why I pretty much ooh getting the and, wow two so, frame yeah or maybe just didn't snap but maybe, I'm guessing it's just two, two frame yeah that's basically the reason why I don't play Peach anymore it, it's you pretty much Peach is one of those characters that really excels when they get to play their game and a lot of the time you don't get to because people will just camp you out cover options instead of facing you head on which Peach is really good at so which is why I've pretty much reserved him as a counter pick character against certain players or characters. Uh -huh. Because he's just, there's no reason to main him. His, his matchup spread's too volatile, his gameplay's too volatile. It's very frustrating to play as him 85% of the time. And that's, that's, and that's honestly, and that, that's how I feel about the Belmonts, and why I, I'll obviously never fully switch to them, is at least with Ganon, everything always feels possible, even if it's like really dumb. But with the Belmonts, there are just certain, it's just like no-go zones, you know. It's just things that they are just not built in any capacity to deal with. And I think that's, that's kind of seems like what you're talking about with Pichu. Well, I don't think it's necessarily that Pichu isn't capable of dealing with everything. I think Pichu is a good enough character to do so. It's just uh, finding, the, like sometimes it's kind of like Hero where you just like, imagine every character just had crit. Sometimes you'll just die randomly to like a backer or smash attack, and it's really not fun for either player. <laughs> And yeah, I think I think that's actually a kind of. Uh, I, I do have to say, in a game w uh, with this many characters, um, well, actually, I'll, I'll get to that thought in a moment. I'm gonna try to focus on um, what these gentlemen are doing. But um, so yeah, Rower obviously won the last game, but we got pretty much oh, pretty and, uh, almost what uh, Rui was talking about there, oh. and flubs the recovery a little bit. Um, you can travel at a 90 degree angle, can't you? Yeah. It, it it just has to be more than 90 degrees separated from your last angle. Okay. He could have made it. Um, so, so if you're on a straight line, you just have to make sure you perfectly input. 
Or no, not 90. I think or it has to be at least 45 degrees apart okay. from your other angle. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Ooh, almost gets the up smash. Tries to parry that, and that's that's one thing that um, is just... <laughs> I, one thing I think Pichu is really excellent at is uh, characters that have just really great combos. Um, they get a lot of mileage off parries because they have quick combo starters. Yeah. But um, obviously in that case, Yoshi is, uh, for all intents and purposes, immune with his down air to parries. That's um, another thing. Pichu, because he's so low to the ground, it's very easy to time parries. And with Yoshi, you often can't do so because he can mix it up with either back air or down air. Mm -hmm. So uh, King Isopod's got quite a bit of ground to make up. And like like I was saying at the beginning of the set, Railward is... Um, and, and again, it's Pichu. Pichu's not incapable of making this comeback, but this this is the point in the game where you start getting brave. I'm, I really don't think this was the stage choice. Because of platform. Yeah, Yoshi Gaming. excels on uh, triplats, I think, whereas Pichu prefers FD. He gets a lot of his. He doesn't get too much off platform extensions or platform camping or anything. Oh, gets. Oh, yep. man, snags him. Yep, that was a clean JV3. Yeah, well, we're just playing clean. That so. Game. Well, now, um, so Railward and MP agreed before the match that the uh, the winner of that match 